All right, y'all. Well, the Arctic blast has officially hit Florida. So by the time I'm filming this, uh, a lot of y'all are experiencing negative temperatures, which is just horrifying for me. It's going to be three degrees here tonight in Tallahassee, which um, I don't know that I have ever experienced that kind of cold here. I got snowed in once in the mountains. That was pretty cold. I went to visit uh, AI and Dead on Plastics in Michigan two years ago. I think it got down to like 10 degrees. So we're looking at possibly being colder here than it was there. Um, so yeah, we're freezing out here. It's absolutely freezing. So I don't know how much I'm gonna film like right now over the next two days um, because it's pretty cold, but um, I'm at least gonna show y'all what I'm working on today. So have you ever made so many swim baits? You know, you're having fun, you're pouring, you're filling molds. See, we still have four inches in there that we haven't even gotten out. And then it dawns on you, oh crap, I have to do eyeballs. I have to do eyeballs for all of this. There's some hologram shads there. One of my golden oldies, the green color shift shad in the six inch. There's some other goodies. There's some hickory shads more holograms um, some of these big seven inch uh, sort of like a purple gizzard shad luckily those already have eyes on but nothing else has eyes including those little chartreuse baits over there so <laughs> i gotta sit out here and freeze and glue on eyes which um, i don't have to tell you is probably like the most fun that a human being can possibly have in their lifetime well we are right back where we started it's been so cold Plus, getting ready for the holidays, well, for Christmas, we got one bait. One bait, eyeballed, out of all of these. I literally have done nothing. Good morning, everybody. It is a uh, very, very cold Christmas morning. So cold that I think it killed my crepe myrtle, which uh, I'm not very sad about that. But um, just wanted to say, Merry Christmas. Um, I'm actually right now filming this little segment. It is Christmas morning, very early Christmas morning. Um, so Merry Christmas from me to you. Oops, went out of focus there. From me to you. And uh, I look forward to bringing in a new year with tons of more bait making excitement content for you guys. So uh, I hope everybody had a great Christmas and um, spend a lot of time with your loved ones. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to film the rest of this video over the next few days. It's It's been so cold, I just hadn't done it. So one of my Christmas presents, 24 Walsh Steiner Pilsners out here at my parents' house. For anyone new to the channel, these are my stomping grounds. Landon's out there with my dad. So my dad, uh, it's been so cold, my dad ran a sprinkler, had all this ice up in the trees, but it's, it's kind of starting to melt. You can literally see it just fallen that's absolutely hilarious but yeah we're about to have our little uh christmas get together so we'll show you all some of that Adley, what'd you get there huh oh landon you're gonna like that you know what that is more construction trucks Wow. All right. We'll open them in just a little bit, okay? All right. Lots of stuff happening. Kyle, wave wave to the audience. There you go. Oh, Lord have mercy. Look at this. Just like the Grinch. Feast, 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 feast. Landon, can you tell everybody Merry Christmas? Look at that, buddy. Look at all those bubbles. Here, bubble somebody. Get me. Oh no. Oh no. It's like it's like a mini gun for bubbles. All right, everybody. Now it's New Year's Eve. We got Big Bird. Say hello. Yeah, we got Big Bird down here. A cart full of fireworks. Little New Year's Eve celebration, and here's Big Bird with a shell. Hit her up, man. Hopefully this will focus for y'all.
Yes, sir. Here we go. Here goes another one for y'all. Boy, these things are absolutely loud, my gosh. Golly! Whoa, did one break low? All right, this is a little more up close and intimate. Whoa! Welcome back everybody to the world's worst fishing and happy new year. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed that little Christmas into new year's blog, uh, ending with a little bit of fireworks and now for some more fireworks in the bait shop. One moment, please. For some more fireworks, we are going to do a comparison. Laundry noise. Okay, so you may remember last year about this time, January, sort of around the new year, I did the infamous motor oil video, okay? And uh, we had the motor oil apocalypse. Well, I recently just picked up a bottle of what is MF's, I guess, new or current motor oil, okay? So we had the original, now we have the new one, okay? Right? So what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna check out the new one. I have not seen this yet, I've not used it. I'm just shaking it up for the first time. And um, we're gonna sort of do a little compare and contrast to the original changeable motor oil that uh, was so popular a year ago. Uh, so I'm really excited to see the new stuff. I, I know Jeff's probably done a great job with this. Um, you know, all of their um, chameleon pigments and changeable pigments are awesome, awesome stuff, like we know. But uh, it just kind of so happened, I just got this bottle. I ordered it maybe two weeks ago, and um, it got here just before the new year. So this is kind of gonna be our uh, first video of the year. And uh, I'm excited to check out these pigments, particularly the new flavor of it. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump in and see how these pigments look and sort of do a little compare and contrast. All right, here we go. So we're gonna start with the new motor oil, okay? And here's sort of how you can tell the difference at least from what I can tell, okay? The number, right? The actual number of the product. That one you can see there is 3300-16-17 RPV, whatever that means. The original is a little bit different. It's just the 3317RX2. So I don't really know what these numbers mean, but that is the difference in them, okay? All right, so... We're gonna give the new stuff a shake, and we're gonna set a control here, one measuring cup of plastic, okay? And 30 drops of pigment for each one. One, two, three. All right. So, let's see what we got. Oh, okay. It is largely the same. I know that the red in it um, apparently is a little bit different red um, just based on the availability of pigments so the the original red pigment that was in the original I think is unable to be sourced or is uh, very difficult to be sourced so I know that there is a slight difference in the two formulas all right so now what we're gonna do is uh, just to keep things controlled we are going to inject one of the uh, eight cavity angling AI punch bugs, one of the little punch craw molds. Um, it's a great mold that displays color really well. And uh, we'll do that for the original formula as well. Okay. There it is. I will say though, just first impressions, if you're a fan of the original formula and sad that you couldn't get it, you're really gonna like this. This, uh, this has a lot of the same vibes. So I can't wait to see these two together so that we can see how the new looks versus the old. Okay, there is the new changeable motor oil. And uh, you can see it still has that really awesome dark rich in there, uh, particularly depending on what angle your perspective is. Oops, yeah. 
It can look brown, red, or that green chartreuse, depending on the angle. Um, so there it is right there in the punch bug. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of leave it in, um, leave it in the mold right now. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. We're gonna leave it in the mold right now because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the other punch bug mold that we have, okay? And we're gonna do a run, same drop count, same everything in the original. Now, from everything that I've seen, just, you know, here and there, talking to other bait makers, the original one is just a little bit more red. Again, I believe, don't quote me, but I believe that the difference in the two formulas had to do something with a red pigment no longer being available that was used in this original formula. Um, so if you want more information on that, I'm sure MF can tell you. Um, but that is sort of, I guess, my hypothesis is that the original will just look a little bit more red overall. All right, here we go. And now for the uh, old stuff right there. Okay. So same drop count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and so on. All right, let's get her mixed in here. Yeah. Ooh, that cup wasn't quite cooked enough. We've got a little bit still, uh, still jelly on the bottom. That's okay, though. We know what to do with that. So again, that's the original stuff that I have in like the itty bitty two ounce bottles. So, gonna, uh, Kind of get this stirred in. Yeah, and then we're uh, we're ready to play. So again, another punch bug mold, and um, we'll see what they look like. All right, here we go. Here goes the original changeable. Here we go. Yeah, felt like a good, good shot there. All right. Well, I'll tell you, so far, just looking at it here in the cup, I can't tell a difference hardly at all. So I'm really, really curious to see it displayed in a bait. Okay, so you might recognize some of this one, oops, from the, <laughs> from the thumbnail. So I went ahead and poured a botworm of each color, right? So there's the new formula, okay, in the, uh, in the four and a half inch bot. And here's the old, okay? So here they are together in the punch crawls. So we'll go ahead and show you the old up close, right? So if we just look at it, right? Okay? As you can see, a little more red. Just There's just more red over here, right? Than there is over here. Yeah, there's a good angle to see the red. So apparently that's the angle to see the red. So as you can see, they are so close, you know, it, it, it has the vibe, um, but everything that I saw, read, and talked to other bait makers, you know, my hypothesis was that there was just going to be a little bit more red in the old, and there again, the difference was a red pigment. You know what? Let me show you all something real quick on that subject. So here is a legendary pigment in the world of bait making, Color Technologies, well, Lure Works, Junebug125, okay? This is the old Lure Works June Bug that was absolutely just so awesome. Discontinued because the red pigment could no longer be sourced in the United States that was in this original formula. So it's not the first time that red pigments have robbed us of a great uh, color. Um, but I think we can make a small adjustment to the new formula and show you all a little trick to make it more like the old formula if that is your goal. Um, there is certainly nothing wrong with this as is. It's absolutely sexy, passes the test. But a lot of people really liked the contrast that you get in the old one. You get all the greens, some of the browns, of course, and then a lot of that rich red. We're going to see if we can take this and turn it into this with one small adjustment. Okay, so we've got the new formula mixed out again. A full cup, same drop count. So what we want to do is we want to try to add a red to it, but it needs to be a certain type of red. It needs to be a see-through, translucent, sort of blood red, okay? So Lureworks Cherry Red works really well, 
Um, if not, the MF Jelly Red is what you really want, okay? But this is what we have, right? It will not opaque. Two drops, it's very, very, very strong, okay? So you, you need a red that does not opaque. Yeah, look at that. You can see it mixing in there nicely. Okay, now we have a lot more red coming your way. And it doesn't mess up what people love so much about this pigment is that it's got that translucent see-through effect to it. No matter how much you put in there, it's not gonna opaque on you. And it allows light refraction to really make some magic, okay? So now, We've basically spiked it with a red, and I think we can get something a little closer. <laughs> Look at this, two red, right? So here's what we just got, okay? That's with two drops of cherry red. Here, here's the original MF changeable with, with the more red, right here and right here, next to what we just did. So, I think if we use one drop of red, we'll nail it. So as you can see, you can create some mighty wild uh, motor oils just by playing with that red pigment. And who knows, you know, somebody might like this ultra red version better than any of the other ones, right? Really, really cool stuff. We're, we're playing with some fun stuff today and I hope y'all are enjoying the show. All right, so here we go, one more time. This time, one drop of cherry red. One drop does it, just like hot sauce, okay? So we're, we're gonna go with that. And even still, this might be more red <laughs> than the original, but I think it's going to look a lot closer. That, you know, the, the last go around was for sure too red, um, but maybe that's your cup of tea and, uh, and, and you'll be making extra red motor oil from now on. <laughs> so any event, we're gonna try this in two molds uh, and see how we like it. Okay, and for our final showdown, oops, here's what we have. So, this is the original formula as is from this bottle right here with that product number, okay? Awesome, awesome stuff, we all know and love it. Lots of red in there. Here is the new stuff with one drop this time of cherry red. And as you can see, it's absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. But even still with one drop, it is still a little bit redder <laughs> overall than the original. So what I think you could do to get even closer, okay, is maybe increase by just a little bit your drops of this but still leave it at one drop cherry red. I think under no circumstances should you use two drops of cherry red. And in fact, if you really, really, really want to get down and dirty with this, you could always do this trick. Throw a drop of cherry red on the table, right? So instead of even using one full drop, just kind of dip your knife tip in it and then stir that in. Now you're using a, now we're getting into fractions of drops. You can even take uh, like, so, so like the tip of scissors, okay? Dab it in pigment, and then mix in even smaller amounts, okay? These are all things that you can do to try to dial something in further. But, you know, I think what we've demonstrated today is that this is awesome by itself. Um, you know, this is not really a, a plug for these pigments, but um, I've been wanting to try the new MF motor oil ever since they kind of ran out of the original stuff because I wanted an option to, to keep making this. You know, eventually I'm gonna run out of the original stuff and I wanna know what my options are to be able to kind of make this color profile again going forward. So I really think I'm pretty close, I'm on to something. And um, I hope y'all have enjoyed this little motor oil battle royale. Um, so it's, it's sort of a battle of the motor oils and then taking the new one and playing with it a little bit to see what we can come up with. So, yeah, hope you all enjoyed. And before I forget, we did have one bonus mold. The Angling AI Lizard, yeah. Wanted to see it in some motor oil. Very cool, very cool, look at that. 
And this is in the formula that we just did with the one drop of cherry red. Yeah, looking awesome. Such a great mold. Such an amazing, amazing bait. Yeah, there it is, guys. Some motor oil lizards. Looks pretty good in a reptile or an amphibian, whatever the heck those things are. And again, I'd like to thank my two title sponsors, Dead on Plastic, all your plastisol and color needs, and of course, AI Molds. Couldn't make this channel possible without their support. Well, all right, everyone. It is a absolutely gorgeous uh, New Year's Day finishing up this filming. So um, hope everyone had a great break, great holiday season, safe, happy new year, all that. Um, let me know in the comments down below what type of content you would like to see this year and we will do our best to to make it happen you know we we get less time nowadays to, to film on the weekends and um, very little time during the week um, so we're um, you know a little limited on some of the hours that we can put into the content but uh, I am all ears as to things that maybe you guys and gals want to see so um, yeah let me know let me know in the comments below what y'all want to see and um, we will get get the get the ball rolling so thanks again for watching the video we'll see y'all in the next one